guys welcome to forex trading strategies it's been a while i created video here about a month ago due to some personal reasons but i'm back fully for you guys so i want to teach you in this video the basics of mt5 okay for a newbie a beginner the basics of mt5 the purpose of creating this video is for those new people that want to go into uh, into um, uh, trading but they don't know how to go about it so they come into my inbox with a lot of questions and this is the mistake i've made right from time i've not covered these basics on, on any video on this channel so it takes like extra effort or extra time for me to try to explain it to people on whatsapp and it's not actually funny when you do that over and over for countless people even at odd time so i'm creating this video so it's as a kind of reference purpose for those that want to learn it if you have anyone that want to go in, into it that's asking you a question the best you can do is refer them to this video and you'll be good to go okay so this is forest trading strategies here are great content on how you can perfect your skills okay how you can perfect your skills on forex trading and also the synthetic indices when you talk of the boom and crash so let's head on to our mt5 now first thing is if you want to download mt5 you go to your google play store okay it's on google play store so this is our google play store right here you click on the search and you just search for met mt5 okay you just search for mt5 it will be the same thing okay you see mt5 meta trader 5 forex and stock trading then you click on install but i have it on my phone already so it says update i'm not going to update it in this video but i'm going to minimize i'm going to the app right away okay that's how you download it so sorry so this is the app right here on my phone and i'm going to show you some basics about this app now the first section here the first thing you are seeing here you can see it's volatility 10 volatility 10 volatility 100 25 50 75 a step index boom uh, boom 1000 crash 1000 boom 500 crash 500 and you see a red sign here okay that's because i have an ongoing trade okay and the trade is a negative value that's why you see the red if it's in positive then you will see blue okay so all of these are codes that you can trade now if you're not familiar with the boom and crash then you will not know any of these codes okay maybe you are used to the currency peers like euro dollar euro usd and the likes okay so these are the codes available here now you can try to add to it and you can remove from it for example if you are not trading a kind of pair if you are not familiar with it then you can remove it how do you do that you click on this plus button here okay you click on this uh, pencil button for edit this edit button okay you click on it once you click on it you note that you have plus and you have delete okay now if you click on the plus then you can add to it from those that you've not added before so here are the folders okay you can open these folders open the folders you can see those ones you've not added we have the velocity 10 1 s velocity 25 1 s velocity 50 1 x 75 1 x okay the 1 x then we have the range breaks okay we have the range break 100 200 okay now we have the jumping indices as well we have the jumping indices 10 25 50 75 100 as well so you can add any of them to it for example let's add, add the jumping in this index 75 okay let's add it so we've added it when we check the list when we check the new list now you see jump index 75 okay now i've not studied that and i don't know how it works yet but you can actually add it then if you want to delete you click on this edit button as well you click on this delete okay right here you click on delete or uh, this that circle there or that bin there you click on that you select the one you want to delete for example i want to delete this volatility 10 okay so i click on on this and i click on the delete and it's gone from the list okay you can see that we no longer have volatility 10 the list we have is volatility 25 okay that's great now moving on from there the next thing we want to talk about is here this chart okay you can see the candle patterns here you click on there and that is for charts okay so this will show uh the movement of the trade or uh, the, the the peers you want to check okay the movement of the peers we want to check and this is it right here okay so you can see this is uh this is boom 500 i think this is boom 500 let me check again for confirmation this is boom 500 okay this is one we are checking if you want to check another one you click on step in this click on chart okay chart the third thing you click on chart and the market will load okay 
a steep process okay so the market comes up and this is what you have now, if you want to change it to another one you can go and, and click on crash uh, jump in there 75 let's see how that that is as well okay so you can just keep moving around in the system so basically the first one is for the 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 quotes the second one is for the chart uh, let's go to the third one and see what that third one is. okay so the third one will show will show your account okay it shows your account if there's any ongoing trade it's going to record it as well so we have my balance is three thousand dollars the equity is three thousand and four why the balance is three thousand and twelve the reason is i have a trade ongoing and that is minus eight okay so your equity is not equal to your balance this could be more than your balance and it could be lower than your balance depending on the number of trade you have okay uh, the value of the trade if it is positive value or negative value we have the margin which is 20 we have the free margin which is 2900 have the margin level which is 14000 okay and this is the trade i'm having right now so uh, i'm using the loss size of 1.5 Okay, now I'm not here to teach you the trading right now, okay? Because I have a lot of videos on my channel that will teach you how to trade. So if you want to learn... Okay, so sorry about the call that came in, okay? Because I need data to connect to the internet or, or to access this platform and it, it, won't be, it won't really work if you turn off the data. Now moving on from there, we have this place as well. This is for our history, our trade history so far. Okay, our trade history so far will only display the number of days you give it. Okay, so you can click on here. You can click right there on that calendar and check. Okay, so it says for last month it's zero. Okay, for last month. So if we check last three months, it will show some other things. Okay, so you can keep on here. This is a demo account. Okay, I've not been using it that way. That's why I said the last three months is, is zero. Now moving on from uh, that one, you can see here is news and here is charts for members. Now moving away from that place, if you hook, click on these three uh, dots here, three lines here, once you click on it, okay, you note that you see uh, this is my demo account, okay, you can click on manage account for you to add an account to it. So for example, if you are using Deriv, because those that provide boom and crash, the only uh, broker that provide boom and crash is very or binary okay it's the same company and in the next video i will i will teach you how you can create a derive or binary account to trade boom and crash okay i'm going to teach you that and log it in to your mt5 it's very simple but i'm going to drop the link to get your mt5 and the link to sign up for derive under this video so you can download it right away okay so let's click on manage account and let's see what we can do so if you want to click on manage account here is the account you can log out then you can log it in now if you want to log in a new account that's quite different you can click on this plus button then you can log in the new account okay now that's a kind of different video as well that i'm going to create to put you through this process but right now i'm going to move away from there then we'll come to our code section okay code section there are a lot of other extensive settings like if you go to about sorry if you go to settings there's a lot of things you can play with but if you are not familiar with it for now you don't need to know all of that okay you don't need to know all of that then the next thing i want to show you is let's go to our chart if you click on the chart you see that there's a circle showing okay this circle right here and there's a lot of elements in it so i'm going to explain that to you now this m1 means one minute okay that's a time frame that's one minute time frame so whichever candle you are taking there the candle is going to be one minute okay one minute okay so the m5 is for five minutes m15 is 15 minutes m30 is 30 minutes h1 one hour h4 four hours d1 d, that is one day 24 hours w1 is one week and m is month okay now this f is for other functions like if you want to add indicators to the list okay to the chart you can use that one this plus is for some other things i will say okay now let's get into it so uh, to make i'll make it easier for you let's click on this f you want to click on it you can see that we have our indicator moving average this is the one on the chart currently okay this one on the chart currently that i'm using but if you go back or if you click on f and you click on main chart you click on plus okay this f plus you can add other straight okay so you can see under the trend indicator we have a lot of them under the oscillators we have a lot of them as well this is oscillators 
and the one underneath it under the volumes we have a lot of them also under the bill williams we have lots of them as well okay that is how you add the indicator to your chart now let's click on the chart again so that it brings out the circle and the next thing we'll be checking out is this plus here okay that plus once you click on it you can see that it brings out a line so you can actually measure you see you can use two hands to draw some line and compare okay how the chart is moving now let's click on it again so you can draw and it's okay you can take it up take it down to see the number of candles and 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 that is it so let's check on how we can do other stuff with it aside from that okay so let's click let's click the circle once again now you can click on settings and do some other things with it but we're not going to tamper with that let's click on the circle and let's check this sign here okay that sign has a lot of things inside that we might need as well so i'll click on it and you see you can take this vertical line this line horizontal line you can take the angle and you can use all of that okay so this is m5 trend line m5 horizontal line so you can use all of this okay in the chart for example let's use let's use this angle and see okay so you can see you can open the angle just for your so you can see you can open the angle and just do some some sort of analysis with it okay it's as simple as that so uh, we're going to take that away and uh, basically that is all you have to know about uh, this for now so in the other videos i will show you how you can create your dairy account how you can log into your mt5 and then you can watch my other videos on how you can start your trading simple as abc thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye for now